Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline. If you're new, welcome back. Make sure you guys subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias as well. Let's be friends on there. Um, so for today's video, I feel like I have not done like a sit down video in a while. I feel like I've just been doing like the vlog styles for you guys. So for today's video, as you guys know by the title, I will be showing you guys what I'm going to be taking to the hospital with me. I am currently 36 weeks, almost 37 weeks. I'm like at 36 and a half. Um, so we're definitely getting somewhere, you know, we're getting closer to my due date. And I honestly, I'm so excited. I feel like I just want her out already. I see all this baby clothes in front of me right now. And I am just like ready for her to be here, honestly. First, I am going to be showing you guys what I'm going to be taking for my baby. Once I'm done showing you guys what I'm taking for her, I'll be showing you guys what I'm going to be taking for myself as well. I kind of was looking through all the stuff that they gave me on our baby shower. And I noticed that I have a lot of floral print stuff. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stick with like the flower theme um that way it just she just kind of matches with everything you know mainly what i'm taking is just her outfits that i want her to be in at the hospital and the outfits that i wanted to bring her home in a couple of blankets and that's it that's honestly all i'm taking as a lot of you guys know i already do i have one daughter so i kind of already know how it is and the experience and you know all that stuff they honestly provide you with everything so you just kind of have to take like the basics so that's what we're sticking with because i don't want to i don't want to have my husband carry like a whole bunch of bags you know for some reason i don't know can we admire my hair because i don't know i never do hairstyles like this so i wanted to step out a little bit of my comfort zone and you know kind of do something different for you guys because i feel like i'm always sticking to like the same old me but yeah let me know if you guys like it um i still don't know how i feel about it you know to be honest i feel a little different but different's good right okay let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. Um, so for her blankets, um, I'm taking a warm blanket and then I'm taking like more of like a fresh blanket, hot. But for her, when she's in the hospital, it's going to be cold in there. So I'm going to be using one at the hospital for when, you know, when I'm with her. And then when I bring her out, we'll probably use that same one. And then the other one to just kind of wrap her and all that good stuff. So it was so hard to pick up the blankets because uh, they gave me so many cute blankets on my baby shower that I was just like, oh, but I like this one and I like this one and I like this one. But at the end of the day, I mean, she's going to end up using them anyways, you know, when she comes home. Um, it's just a matter of picking one to take to the hospital, you know, for her first, first times. For those that came to my baby shower, if I'm not showing something that you guys gave me, it's not because I didn't like it or whatnot. It's just that, you know, I wanted to stick with the floral print. So just keep that in mind, okay? Because I loved everything. So this is the first blanket. Um, this is the warm one right here so this is one side nice pretty floral print and then this is the other side which is just a pretty pink um for those of you that know me you guys know that i love this this color pink like a blushy pink it's so pretty moving on to the next blanket um this is more of like a fresh one um you know just kind of to put like on top of her whenever she whenever we put her in the car seat just to kind of put it on top or something um and it's also floral print and this is what it looks like it's more on like the thin material more of like on the fresh side so this is what it looks like right here and it's pretty long and honestly i love these because these you can wrap your baby so good in them so yeah you guys this is the floral print one and then i ordered this car seat cover on amazon and it's this one right here you tie it on the car seat you know just, just clip it on the car seat and it just kind of falls really nice on the car seat and it's similar to the one i just showed you guys right now i don't know if it was my mom or i'm not really sure but somebody gave me the little car seat um a uh, little like little pads you know the ones that go like on the little seat belt um so i'm gonna be taking these right here they're super soft super cushiony you know for the baby and then it comes with like its little you know headrest right here so this is the one that i'm gonna be taking you know the car seat that we got her already is pretty comfortable and pretty you know cushiony but you know you can never go wrong with these so i'm taking these so for her socks that i got for her for her baby shower um they were too big um they were i think 
like six to 12 months. And even then, I feel like these that I have for her are probably still gonna fit a little bit big, but these are like the smallest ones that I have. And these honestly, are, these are the ones that I had gotten for my husband when I told him I was pregnant. So these are the ones that I'm taking, just these cute little two pairs, you know. At the end of the day, you probably, probably won't be able to see them because her little feet are gonna be covered, but just for her to be nice and comfy. Moving on to the outfits, my most favorite part, most exciting part. So mind this, my daughter, when I had her, honestly, like, I never thought that I was gonna have a preemie baby or anything, you know. She did not fit in her newborn clothes at all, at all. So I had to have my husband and my best friend go out and try to find some preemie clothes for her because we had like nothing to take pictures of her in. We had um, nothing to to put her in besides just like the little shirt that they give you at the hospital. So that is why I was like, okay, for this baby, like I don't know how big she's going to be. Obviously, you know, um, she could be smaller, she could be bigger, but I hope she's not smaller because yeah, my daughter was five pounds when she got here so definitely I do not want I mean I wouldn't mind her being five pounds but I wouldn't want her to be less than that you know just because five pounds is already super small um so yeah you guys I'm going to be definitely going to go prepared with my preemie outfits and with newborn outfits just because I don't know how big she is so we definitely want to be prepared with those two I am not taking zero to three months at all just because I do not think she's going to be that big if she is preemie I'm going to be putting this one on her let me just put it on me like this I only got two preemie outfits for my baby shower, so those are the two that I'm taking, obviously, just in case. These are the little pants, look at this! I'm so excited! Like, just looking at this, I'm like, I cannot believe I had a baby this small at one point because my daughter's like so big now that she does not fit in any of this, obviously. Okay, so there's the pants, and it comes with the little hand. Look at this! So cute! <sighs> Okay, anyway, super, super, super cute, you know? Um, so this is the one that, the preemie outfit that I will be putting on her when she's at the hospital with me. Then once we get discharged, I am going to be uh, putting this one on. Look at the little pants! Floral print, like I said, I wanted to stick with florals. So this is the one that she'll be leaving the hospital in, obviously, if she fits in the preemies. And then it comes with like the cute little shirt. Look at this, so cute. And it comes with this little hand. Look at the little knot on the top, it's so cute. So yeah, this is the outfit that I'm planning on bringing her out of the hospital with because, you know, she probably won't fit in this. Um, and this is the floral print here. So small, look at this. Oh my God. So now moving on to newborn, if she is to fit in the newborns, I have two outfits as well that I would want to put on her. Um, I am going to be putting this onesie just because it's like a whatever, you know, pretty pink, like my favorite color, pink onesie. I had so many onesies to choose from. So I'm going to put this on her, this shirt, and then she's going to be wearing this little onesie right here. Cute little floral print look at this this one obviously is going to go underneath this one and then I purchased one outfit on Amazon um, I know that out of, I could have picked one out of all the outfits that I had from my baby shower but I just love how these like I've been seeing so many ads of these like cute little outfits I was dying to buy it I'm like I need to buy one like so it's super super simple but it's super cute this is the outfit here and what I like about it is that it's like a sh onesie but these are the onesies that tie up like at the bottom so they look like they're like in a little bag like so cute so like this and then her little feet just like swim in there like this and it comes with its little beanie that you can also you know obviously tie like in a little knot or you could just let it fall whatever whatever you know what you want to do whatever this is a little pat for it or you can also pair it with the bow so the bow, honestly, to be honest, I do not think her head's gonna be this big. Or maybe, I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> but yeah, if the bow fits for, obviously, I'm, I'll probably put the bow on her. 
um, more than the beanie and the beanie I'll probably just do it with like the onesie um, that I just showed you guys or I could do vice versa the bow with that like I said I'm not taking any any shampoos I'm not taking any like you know stuff to clean her with no wipes no I'm not taking any diapers or anything they literally provide you with everything and most of the times you even end up bringing a lot of the stuff from the hospital to your house so I feel like I don't need to carry that extra stuff to be honest um, I know that a lot of like first-time moms you know they like to just overpack just in case but trust me you guys they like they give you everything there's no way that you're gonna be at a hospital and they're gonna be like oh well, we don't have wipes like obviously you know they're gonna have wipes they're gonna have everything for you they have bottles there let me just tell you guys one thing i am actually preparing for this baby because with my daughter my water broke at three in the morning she came three weeks early she came like about two or three weeks early and I had nothing ready for her. I didn't have a, her diaper bag. I didn't have any of my stuff. Like, I was not prepared at all. Like, I'm over here, like, shaking. I'm nervous because, obviously, I'm a first-time mom. I don't, I don't know when the pain is going to kick in or whatever. Luckily, the pain didn't kick in until we I were actually, like, at the hospital. And I was already, like, in the bed and ready to just bring out the baby. But... You guys, I'm so I was so nervous. I was just throwing stuff everywhere. I was just like, okay, this one might fit. This outfit might fit. Let's do this. Let's do that. Like for my clothes, I would I just threw in like leggings and pants and you know all this bunch of things in there. And it was like unnecessary things. Like I packed unnecessary things, but I was just throwing stuff in there because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what I needed and whatnot. But for this one, I'm obviously like getting ready um like i said i'm almost 37 weeks so i know for sure i need to be ready because i kid you guys not i feel like i've been getting like those fake contractions already like i'll get them like more towards that night and it sucks so bad because i'm trying to go to sleep and i'm getting like these pains in my back and then they kind of come forward and i'm just like oh no like you know and then i feel her kicking and i'm just like oh i just hope my water doesn't break right now like please not yet you know so I was like, okay, definitely I need to get, you know, my diaper bag ready and try to film it for you guys before it's too late, before I'm actually at the hospital again going with, through the same situation. You just need like, you know, some cute little outfits so they're not just like in the hospital shirt. And then the outfit that you want them to come home to, at the end of the day, they'll only probably keep you at the hospital two, three days. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you guys my diaper bag. To be honest, I didn't want to buy like a super expensive diaper bag simple not so expensive diaper bag on amazon and call it a day because at the end of the day the very first days she's here you know with us we're at the house we're not going to be really going out anywhere at all um and when we do go out it's like you only go out to your doctor's appointments i feel so even then you don't need like 20 pairs of clothes or you know 10 diapers and whatnot you know i know a lot of moms you know if you do this like you know that's you it's fine everybody thinks different i'm not saying that it's bad or that you shouldn't be over prepared that's always good to do you know whatever but like me personally i'm just kind of like eh, like i don't really like to overpack i just kind of like to keep it like you know plain and simple and like okay you know unless we're going somewhere far then that's different obviously i am going to be over prepared so this is a diaper bag that i got right here my husband's gonna be carrying this and I don't want him to look like a girl. So, yeah, so this is like a, it's like a cute little backpack style, black. And then when you open it, pretty spacious on the inside. And I like it that it comes with like the little hooks and you it comes with the hooks that you could put like on the stroller just to, so it can hang. It comes with two of them. And then it has a whole bunch of like little pockets. You can see right there, one right here, one right here. And then it comes with a little zipper bag right over here. You know, you can put like all your little pairs of clothes and whatnot. And just kind of organize however you want it. And then once we close it, you open it from the side and you can put, you know, whatever you want to fit in here. Like personally, I would probably do my phone, honestly. Um, so that's that. And then, let me see if I'm missing it back. Yeah, right back here. I like it this because this is so cool. If you open this up, you don't want if you don't want to open like all the way on the top. If you open this back part, it literally opens to like the bottom of the bag in a way. And then it has like a cute little like ziplock bag right here on the bottom. 
and yeah let's close this up and obviously i'm gonna fill it up right now with everything that i just showed you guys so it's gonna look you know a little bit fluffed up um let me see oh and then it has this front bag that's probably going to be my most used one so this is this it comes with like the um foil thing inside to keep it the bottles warm and whatnot obviously you always want to have warm baby bottles for them and it comes with two and then whatever else you want to fit in these um you can put maybe i don't know some other stuff right here like um maybe her bibs or whatnot like you know whatever you want to whatever you want to put in here you can put in here it's pretty spacious you know so we just close that up so this is her diaper bag now i'm going to be showing you guys what i'm going to be taking for me the only thing that i feel like i'm not going to be showing you guys is going to be the undies but just keep in mind that it's going to be the grandma undies it's going to be the ones that are like covered all the way on the back because we want to be really secure down there we don't want any accidents that's kind of tmi um, me showing you what where I'm gonna be wearing the when I'm at the hospital when I come out. Mm, no, I'm just not gonna do that. But I'm gonna show you guys my clothes. Um, okay, so when I'm at the hospital, I got this gown and like the rope that comes together just so I can be like comfortable and just not, like not in the hospital gown because I feel like when I shower, I want to just feel fresh and comfortable in my own clothes. This is the gown that I got right here, like a nice gray polka dot with white gown right here nice and long well it's not that long but i know i'm gonna be comfortable in it i obviously already tried all of this on so i know it's, it fits nice and good and then this is the rope that it comes with because you know we want to be nice and comfy like i said so this is the robe here just so cute nice simple colors you know i didn't want to like overdo it with like those like extra dramatic robes and stuff but this is what the robe looks like so i'm obviously going to be wearing this when i'm there at the hospital with her for when i leave the hospital though i have this other outfit here i don't know about you guys but my mom is like you know those old school moms where you gotta be super covered and you can't like show your back because then you're gonna get cold in your body and then you you have to cover your ears and you have to wear all these things and you have to be super covered you cannot let the air hit you because oh my god it's so bad so i need to be super covered i'm still thinking about what sweater i'm taking i might just take like a black cardigan or maybe something similar like a cardigan similar to this color just to kind of stick with the vibes um but we'll see for the outfit meanwhile this is what i'm wearing i just kind of got like this nice loose shirt because i don't want to wear anything too tight besides my faja um and yeah you guys i want to be nice and comfy and then these are the pants they're kind of like joggers and they fit really nice like i said i already tried this on so i know it might look like kind of ugly and grandma type on the video but kind of like jogger style so it's gonna fit really cute when i come out of the hospital and i'm going to be matching with her like you know wearing pink and stuff so i'm excited um for my shoes i am going to be wearing tennis shoes when i come out of the hospital um and then once i'm here at home i'm going to be you know changing into some slippers because um i live in slippers as it is i got a couple of maternity bras at the store the other day um and I got four different colors, but I really like them. They're so comfy. I tried them on and I'm like, oh, can I just keep them on already? So these are the one size maternity bras. A nice thick band right here. And then I like it because they're nice and thick from the back as well. Let me show you guys. Like this. Nice and thick, you know, making sure it gets all the fat in there. Then you just detach it from here. And then you just breastfeed the baby and you're set to go i know that they provide um with also like the nipple cream because you guys i did not know this my first time when i had a baby that when you breastfeed um since the baby's just kind of sucking on it and you're not used to like somebody just sucking on it constantly that they rip and then they burn and they hurt when you feed your baby so they gave me like this little nipple cream at the hospital. I don't know if I'm pretty sure they still they are still giving it, but I want to take my own just in case because I do not want to go through that experience again. Like I just I do not want it to like hurt or, or whatever. So I did buy this this nipple cream right here. 
So this is the one that I got. This is the Lanonin cream. And yeah, basically it's for your nipples. It comes with this little one and then it comes with this big one right here. This soothes and protects sore nipples. Safety for baby, relief for mom, 100% natural. Um, this is the one that I just saw at the store and I was like, okay, you know what? I think they all kind of do the same thing, so I'm just gonna take this one. But I'm gonna take the little travel size. Look at how cute it is. So I'm gonna take the travel size. And I know that they, I think they do also provide you with, um, you know, the breast pads um, for when your mouth is leaking and you're not feeding the baby. Your bra doesn't get all wet and you don't get all wet and have an accident there. I do not want to be leaking. So I am going to be taking some breast pads um, just to be safe, you know. And for like the most part, I feel like when it comes to the bottom area, you know, like the pads, the diapers and all that stuff, since they clean you and they help you with everything, they most likely will have that there. And a lot of the times, like I said, with my daughter, I was able to bring a lot of stuff back home. So I'm probably, I'm gonna still bring some stuff back home. And then I'm going to have my husband just go purchase everything else for me that I feel like I'm going to need. And then, you know, just whatever socks that you wanna wear. Like, And I know you guys are probably thinking like, where's the makeup, where's this, where's that? That, but that I feel like I could just kind of throw it in a little bag once I'm already like going to the hospital hairbrush you know straightener and all that like extra stuff toothbrush toothpaste um, you know like my moisturizers and all that stuff I feel like I'm going to pack that the day that I actually am going to the hospital I know you guys are probably like no Jackie do it now like like you said you gotta be prepared I know I have to be prepared and I'm, for the most part I am already prepared and we have everything but I'm still you know here and there I'm still doing my makeup so I don't want to pack that stuff yet and having to be digging in through my bag my bag honestly and even the baby's bag is something that my husband can just take with him the next day like after we have the baby or whatever we don't necessarily have to just like take everything at once if we can and you know and we have the time and stuff like that I am going to just throw everything in there this is the bag that I'm going to be taking I don't promise you guys that I'm going to film the labor and delivery but it just kind of depends how it goes because if it just happens so fast I might not be able to um, you know especially because it's just going to be him and me in the room with the with the nurses they're not letting me bring and they're not letting me bring anybody else so it's gonna be kind of hard for me to do it for you guys I'm not gonna lie but I'm going to try to get some clips on my phone like you know like of us and stuff and then I'm gonna have to see figure out if I even have time to set up the camera somewhere else in the hospital and that's if they even let me read but for sure if I do record it's going to be both on my phone I am recording on my phone right now so this is the quality that you guys get on my phone um so i will be recording on my phone and i will also be recording on my camera just to kind of have it like on the side but i feel like the clips that i'm mainly going to focus on my camera is going to be the ones where i'm actually already having the baby um hopefully hopefully fingers crossed that the baby delivers normally and that i don't have to have another c-section because if they do another c-section then it's not like the same experience as i would want to give you guys as a like regular delivery my delivery day is may 26 so we are 25 days away as of right now 25 days away from my baby being here but I do not think I'm gonna make it because my feet are like sausages, you guys. They're fat, swollen. I'm gonna show you guys me at 36 weeks. Thank you so much to those that support me and watch me. I honestly really appreciate everything and all the love and support. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.